Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui, c'est lundi 30 mars. Notre projet pour la semaine, c'est mon pays. Alors, pour commencer, fais les paires. Regarde les deux colonnes, pays et nationalité. Pays, l'Écosse, nationalité, écossais, écossaise. Have a go. Have a think about which ones go with which from each column. Some are easier to guess, some are trickier. Remember, if you need to pause this at any time, if you um, don't want it to go on to the next slide, just right click and that will pause it for you. Let's see, did you get it right? L'Ecosse, Écosse. Écossaise, l'Angleterre, l'Anglais, Anglaise, l'Irlande, Irlandais, Irlandaise, le Pays de Galles, Gallois, Galloise, la France, Français, Française, la Belgique, Belge. How did you get on? What do you think we're working with here? What do you think these words are to do with? You can see at the top, mon pays is my country. So we've got pays and we've got nationalité. Have a little think. What's the difference between your country and your nationality? Let's see what they are. L'Ecosse is Scotland. Écossais, Écossaise, Scottish. You've got the other ones coming up now. Why do you think for lots of them you've got two versions of the nationality? You've got Écossais, Écossaise, Anglais, Anglaise, Irlandais, Irlandaise. Where have we come across this before? When, do, when have we added an E in the past? Have a think about why that might be. Now you're going to listen to these people talking about where they're from. Okay, so what I want you to do is jot down numbers one to six and the names and then see if you can work out the country and their nationality. Okay? Numéro 1. Je m'appelle James. Mon pays, c'est l'Écosse. Je suis écossais. Je m'appelle James. Mon pays, c'est l'Écosse. Je suis écossais. Numéro 2. Je m'appelle Jenny. Mon pays, c'est l'Angleterre. Je suis anglaise. Je m'appelle Jenny. Mon pays, c'est l'Angleterre. Je suis anglaise. Numéro 3. Je m'appelle Jérémy. Mon pays, c'est le pays de Galles. Je suis gallois. Je m'appelle Jérémy. Mon pays, C'est le pays de Galles. Je suis gallois. Numéro 4. Je m'appelle Sarah. Mon pays, c'est l'Irlande. Je suis irlandaise. Je m'appelle Sarah. Mon pays, c'est l'Irlande. Je suis irlandaise. 5. Je m'appelle Alexandre. Mon pays, c'est la France. Je suis français. Je m'appelle Alexandre. Mon pays, c'est la France. Je suis français. Et numéro 6. Je m'appelle Laurine. Mon pays, c'est la Belgique. Je suis belge. Je m'appelle Laurine. Mon pays, c'est la Belgique. Je suis belge. How did you get on? Have a look at the answers.
So there we see the difference between the country and the nationality. You'll notice a slight difference in the pronunciation. So have a listen to this. Do we hear the masculine or the feminine form? Number one. Je suis anglais. Je suis anglais. Number two. Je suis écossaise. Je suis écossaise. Number three. Je suis français. Je suis français. Number four. Je suis gallois. Je suis gallois. Number five. Je suis irlandaise. Je suis irlandaise. Was it easy or hard to hear that difference? So the, num the answers were, number one was the masculine, je suis anglais. Number two was the feminine, A, je suis écossaise. Number three was masculine, B, français. Number four was also masculine, A, gallois. And number five was feminine, B, irlandaise. So far, we've learnt a few verbs. What can you remember about verbs? Have a little think. We've generally learnt the I form. I have, I'm called, I like, I hate. Can you remember what these are? Have a little think. You can pause it here and I'm going to put the answers up. So if you need more time to think, just pause. I have is j. I like, j'aime. I love, j'adore. I hate, je déteste. I live, j'habite. How did you get on? This is a key verb, the verb to be, être. Copy this down and learn it. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. We always write our verbs in this format. It helps us to remember. Right, we're going to have a go with this listening here. Copy out the table. You're going to hear people saying what their name, age, nationality is and any other details that you can find. I've got a link on the slide. So if you go to activeteachonline.com and view and then type in the code below, hopefully it should come up with this listening exercise. However, this is all a bit new to us. So let me know via show my homework if the link doesn't work and we'll do it differently another time. I'll add the answers in on a slide at the end so you can check your answers. Alors, regardez les réponses. Have a little look. How did you get on? Did you manage to get the extra details? Now, there are different ways of saying in France, so in Wales. Why do you think there are two different ways? You've got la France, you say j'habite en France. You've got le Pays de Galles, you say j'habite au Pays de Galles. Why do you think that might be? Have a little think. like you to copy and complete this um, little table. So you've got masculine and feminine columns um, for saying the nationality and then you're going to be able to say whether you're saying j'habite en or j'habite au. 
most countries are feminine. Did you guess that that was what the reason was? So you can use en France, en Belgique, en Irlande. Le pays de Galles is masculine, so it's going to be au pays de Galles. Copy that down onto your paper. And it's just good practice for remembering what's masculine, what's feminine. Notice also that in, in France, we say, um, we just say England, but the French say the England, the France, the Belgium. Remember how the French always like to say, I like the chocolate, j'aime le chocolat. I like the dogs, j'aime les chiens. Okay, so you always have to use the article. Alors, on vérifie les réponses. Remember, generally, for the feminine, you're adding an extra E. Notice that when you're talking about somebody being Belgian, that's a bit different. That one doesn't change. Okay, it stays the same whether it's masculine or feminine. Imagine if it didn't have an E on the end. Um, for the masculine, you'd say Belg, and that just sounds a bit funny. Notice also the cedilla on the C of Francais and Française. If you didn't have the cedilla, it would be Franquet and Franquet. That sounds a bit funny too. What I want you to do here is read the text. What information does each person give? They're talking about their name, their age, birthday likes. They don't mention everything on that list to the right hand side. But see what you can um, work out from each person. Make notes. It's kind of like doing a translation but in rough. How did you get on? Let's have a look at um, the translations. I've just added them in note form for each person. Just see what details you got. Was there anything you missed? Was there something you weren't sure about? Just have a little look. Now, you'll have to keep flipping back between the slides. You're going to have to read the text again and correct the sentences below. Lucie est galloise. Elle déteste la musique pop. Théo a 13 ans. Théo habite dans une grande maison. Clémence est française. La mère d'Angus s'appelle Rufus. Flip back to the previous slide, read the text, and then work out what should the sentence read. I'm going to put the answers up on the next slide. So take your time. Have a think about how you might correct those sentences. Vérifie les réponses. Here we go. Lucy est anglaise. Elle adore la musique pop. Théo a 16 ans. Théo habite dans un appartement. Clémence est belge. Le chien d'Angus s'appelle Rufus. Maintenant à toi. Write a paragraph about a famous person using the categories in the slide with the text. I've put them on the right hand side of this slide here. You can pretend to be that person and use the je form of the verbs. I, I live, I am called, I am whatever age, I like, I don't like. Or if you want a challenge, use the il, elle form of the verb. I've put some versions down here. So you've got il s'appelle or elle s'appelle. Il a, elle a, he or she has. Il aime, elle aime, he or she likes. Il déteste, elle déteste, he or she hates. Il habite, elle habite, he or she lives. Il est, elle est, he or she is. Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can write down for me. If you are able to take a photo of what you write and send it to me, that would be fab. Otherwise, you could maybe uh, do it on a Word document and uh, send it to me via show my homework or via my email address. Okay guys, bonne chance à tout le monde et bonne mission et bonne santé. Alors, uh, à très bientôt. Au revoir.